hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is princess today i'm going to be taking us on how to make a bridal robe please don't forget to like share and subscribe so today we're going to be doing this um bridal robe okay going to be doing this bridal robe so i'm going to show you how i'm going to cut it so firstly i folded my fabric into two then i used um i want to use my shoulder measurement my shoulder to my sleeve measurement so my shoulder to my sleeve measurement i'm going to be using 16 okay so i'm going to reduce this because this is 20 so i'm going to be reducing it and the material i'm making use of is a um, mirror satin okay you can see it is shining it's mirror satin i'm using so i'm going to reduce it to 16. So my sleeve, my shoulder to sleeve measurement is 18. I'm using 16 because I'm going to be adding 2 inches as a band on the sleeve, okay? So, I will take my vertical measurement, okay? You'll be saying, why didn't I, because it's a gown, why didn't I use my hip measurement to measure it? But, uh, why didn't I use my hip measurement to measure it? I didn't use my hip measurement to measure it because the shoulder measurement bigger than my hip measurement after I divided it into four okay so I use my shoulder measurement to measure this to fold this fabric so now let me um impute my vertical measure so I'm going to be using um a neck measurement a neck width of three I'll use depth of three also three I will curve it at the around neck then from my neck to my bust measurement I will use 10 then from my bust measurement to my waist measurement I will use 16 then from my waist measurement to my hip measurement I will use between the five then the gown measurement is 35 I will add two more inches that is making it 37 so I'm going to draw the line now straight like that with my on the side you can see the vertical line now so this is my bust measurement this is my waist measurement this is my waist measurement So I'm going to be marking my shoulder measure. That means my shoulder measurement is uh, 16 divided by 2. That is 8 inches. So is it 8? That is 8. I will come down by 1 inch. Then I will slant. Okay, then from 1 inch, then I'm going to slant it from here. Slide. You don't need to arrange your material very well. Oh, no, I see, I see. That is my one inch. So, my bust measurement is um, 34. My bust measurement is 34. 34 divided by 4. So, my bust measurement is 34 divided by 4. That is 8 and a half. Eight and a half plus two inch plus two inches because they loose down trains down. So I'm going to be using half an inch to uh, sew that one inch for the joining. 
then uh, what are they have to wait for the allowance? Then my waist measurement is um the waist measurement I'm going to be using is 27. 27. So we'll connect it to the from our bust line to our waist line. Our bust line to our waist line. Then from this bust line, if you notice, this bridal rope doesn't have hand hole, okay? So we're not going to be using an arm, we're not going to be cutting a sleeve for it because we measure from our shoulder to our sleeve length. So when you come to this bust part, you just make a curve as if you are creating a hand hole, okay? But if you want to do a bridal rope with an arm hole, there's no need for you doing this measurement from your sleeve to your from your shoulder to your sleeve you just draw our normal um, body um, borders so here you just do it like this and now so for this neck i'm going to be making a v neck which will be coming down to this bust part so we slant it Okay, slant it. So this is the measurement. This is how to draft a bridal robe. So I'm going to be cutting it out now. So cut out the snake region. We cut out the down part. Then we cut out to this shoulder and also cut out this slanting one. And you see this curve will go down to this curving place. So we we'll just cut it out. So this is the outcome of after we finish cutting it. So I just placed it on another on our folded material again to cut out the back pattern. Okay. Uh -huh. So if you see this is our front pattern. I did it thin. But this back, we're not going to be doing, we're not going to uh, dip the neck. It should just be our normal back neck measurement, which is three for the width, one and a half for the deepness, then we'll curve it. You can see it. We'll curve. So this is the outcome. This is the outcome, this is the back, this is the front, okay? So I'm just going to set this back pattern aside. So I'm going to be cutting out this front open now, okay? So this is the outcome after which I've cut it open, okay? 
So now you have I have cut a long stripe that I'm going to use to turn it round. That is, I'll measure all round like this also, and also the neck of the um, back pattern after you finish joining your shoulder. Okay. Then when you come to this sleeve part, you also cut a long a uh, as in your sleeve measurement with inch with some inch allowance okay that is also a band that you will attach to the sleeve so that is all on how to make a bridal room if this tutorial was helpful to you please don't forget to like share and comment thank you